Finally. Those pots and weapons are so strange. They're from my land. What are they doing here? It's an illusion caused by the artifact. Yeah, and you being near it. That mask looks unique. I've torn many of those masks from the faces of cultists. Even knowing their illusions, to see all these things from my... my... home? I don't have a home. Not anymore. Sandra, what do you do?
All that trouble for this. You keep it. <laughs> Admit it. We make a good team. Not so bad to work with, after all. Terrible at following orders, though. <laughs> Give me a little credit. It's my first time working with another person in... I don't know how many years. That must get lonely. It does, from time to time. But it's the path I'm meant to walk. Anyway, I should get going. It's not good for me to stay in one place long. Thank you for your help. Truly. Wait. The Norse celebrate their victories, and since in the end you did help, why not come out for a drink with me? I... I don't know about that. It's not really good for me to be seen by too many people. If everyone drinks enough, no one will ever know you were here. All right. What can it hurt? Hopefully you're ahead tomorrow morning if we have a great time. Meet you at the Longhouse in Kildaraklan. See you there.
What do you see, Sunan? This area is off limits. I need your eyes, my friend. Out of my...
lead me. Be my eyes. Stretch your wings, Sunan. I should not be seen in this area.
Leather! Thank you. Very good of you. your eyes, my friend.
Go, Sunan. Sunan, guide me. See you, old friend. Ja, 
What do you see? My eyes. Survey the area soon. My eyes soon. Ich bin ferne der Ero von Chapstow. Sie hätte ich Flas mit den Ich ne Qualhannen an Mond. Oh, 
police. There you are. Ready for that drink? Let's head inside. What is it? There are... a lot of people. I haven't been to a party in some time. I guess I'm... nervous. You just saved an island from descending into total madness. You can handle one drink. <laughs> I guess you're right. Let's go inside. For a drink? What about you? Ah. <laughs> hmm. I've always wanted to try meat. Can't be any worse than my of wine. Eivor, what do you say we find out who the real Norseman is with a little drinking contest? I'd say you don't know what you're getting yourself into. I drank all the mead. That makes me the better Norseman. Better indeed. Congratulations. I haven't been this drunk in a thousand years. Huh? A thousand years? What are you talking about? Ah, uh, 
Never mind. Should not have said that. Malaka. <laughs> Malaka. You really are drunk. Now you're just spouting nonsense. <laughs> no. No, it's a Greek swear word. It's Malaka. Malaka. Laka. Malaka. Malaka. <laughs> That's it. You got it. Now. Let me teach the you. The bride and the groom are here. <laughs> are we crashing a wedding? It was arrogant to assume these people were here to celebrate us saving their asses. Come, let's join in their revelry. <laughs> but I still love you! Please, our courtship is long over and I've married another man. You need to leave. Oh, aren't you the heroes who saved the island and our wedding? I did a little more than she did. But yes. We would love it if you both gave a toast at our wedding. <laughs> we hardly know you. What would we say? But your exploits have made our wedding a day to remember. Please, regale us with your tale. I could be up for that. What about you, Eivor? All right. But if we're going to do this together, Cassandra, let's make it interesting. What do you suggest? A flighting competition, of course. Ah, never tried it myself. I should warn you, though, I've battled wits with great philosophers. Stop boasting and prove yourself. <clears throat> my day began the strangest way. An axe thrown at my head, tending to slay. There stood Eivor, hot-headed and brash. <laughs> to see us now, you'd not believe our clash. Ooh. It took an ambush or two and one dusty old temple for Eivor to see that I could be helpful. But somehow I've melted her cold Norse heart. <laughs> and despite her transgressions, I'll give her a fresh start. I really thought this would be better. Eivor did the heavy lifting, left the tracking job to I. In the end, we triumphed, chasing the nightmares far from sky. And to the bride and groom on this historic day, Eivor did the heavy lifting, left the tracking job to I. In the end, we triumphed, chasing the nightmares far from sky. And to the bride and groom on this historic day. If your love survived this, nothing stands in your way. <laughs> oh, that was wonderful. You really made this a night to remember. It's 
been a while since I've been the center of attention. How did it feel? <laughs> Strangely familiar. I'm glad you invited me here tonight. It was nothing. No, really. Thank you. I needed this. More than I knew. What do you say we make that bride's day and get rid of that asshole? Don't you mean that Malacca? <laughs> Indeed. All in a day's work. Where could my mother be? I know she was visiting the fairy pools earlier, but why would she miss her daughter's wedding? <laughs> Hvað þykist þið erum auðvitað? Lautarinn þeir stengdast menn norður var, það? 
Edith, did you come for the wedding? I couldn't miss it. My cousin is the bride. And of course, I should thank you. Mm. Clearly, you were able to help my people. Otherwise, we wouldn't be here celebrating. <laughs> I can't take all the credit. I had some help. True. Valka put you on this path after all. Was she right, by the way? Did you part ways with that girl? Randvi, as she foresaw? No. Randvi was never on the Isle of Skye. Ah, well, even Valkar makes mistakes. Still, it's good you didn't need to say goodbye to a friend. What an unforgettable night. Nan, I'm not having this man. I'm 
What do you see, Sunan? Have a look, Sunan.
laughing at me. Cast about this land, my friend. Eat it. Eivor, are you looking to return to your settlement? Actually, I will stay here for now. Edith. Eivor, are you looking to return to your settlement? Yes. Let's depart.
Good day, Eivor. What have you got for me today? I can get you that one easy. Done for now. I must be on my way now. Goodbye. May they sing of your deeds and my craftsmanship. <laughs> Word of our growing settlement has reached outside ears, so have a look around. You may see a few new faces. Randvi, are you well? You seem distant. I'm fine. Only a little tired, but well enough. Shall we look at the map? Not until you tell me what is wrong. Oh, I think I have. I feel somewhat trapped. In this room, in this settlement, in this life. I cannot help you with your life just now, but I can get you out of this room. What do you say? I don't know. There is much work to be done. Stop. Forget about alliances and responsibility for just a few hours. We could take a ride to Grandebridge or somewhere nearby for a change of pace. That sounds lovely. And too far to consider just now. But thank you, Eivor. Maybe another time. Now, what was it you needed? Randy, take a break. Let's make for Grandebridgeshire and get you out of this musty room. Do you mean now? Right now? Of course. You said you were tired of all this, so why not? Stretch your legs and fill your lungs. I did ask, didn't I? You're right. Lead the way, Eivor. Follow me. Take the long ship today. This trip is for us. Just you and me. Is that a problem? Not at all. So long as I get some air and sun, I will be fine. 
I spend too much of my day in the Longhouse. We'll need to cross the river at some point if we want to enter Granderbridgeshire. If you know a better way, I would love to hear it. Is swimming not an option? Swimming? I don't know. Are you joking? A boat or a horse would always do, but I'm not opposed to the more traditional methods. tell of any river champion. Not sure what to make of that. But you're welcome to ask Eivor. Suniva and stranger, what brings you to our shores? Vaughn and his crew claim to be raiders of great treasures. They seek to join with Ravenstorff. If you wish to join us, we only ask for hard work and loyalty. No need of silver or gold. Wouldn't say no to it, either. It is good to meet you, Eivor. And there is more in this for you than precious metals. We may seem weary and ragged, but we know secret routes of England's coasts, where you will find a wealth of resources for Ravensthorpe. You seek to share them with us. Why? When the table is laden with too great a feast, you gather friends round to enjoy. We seek friends and feasting. Let me show you. I will take you out on a raid. Once we repair our ship. I appreciate the offer. And accept it. And... How do you judge our dock? Ah, now that's a dock worthy of our longship. Come and talk to me whenever you are ready to leave. Survey the area soon. I have not been this far east of the settlement. Isn't that awful? You think this place smells off? You get used to it. I do not wish to. You think safety awful? To live one's life in so small a pond. Hear stories from you and the scouts without ever venturing further. <laughs> Gods, do you smell that? The earth and the air. It is good to be out here.
Eivor, there. What is that? This is where the Summer Army retreated when Grandebridge was lost. They seem to have resettled the city in full now. Right, right. I know this land so well by its map, but to see it in person brings it to stunning life. A Roman marvel. I will not soon forget this sight. And here we are. Welcome to Grindabridge. We should make our way to the Longhouse. Ah, oh, it's bigger than I imagined. Rustic, woody, beautiful. And everything seems quite new. Under Soma's guidance, the Summer Army built this town up from a small village. They wanted a hub for trade near London, and a launching point for incursions into Wessex. Well, it is impressive. Some interesting architectural ideas here, too. It's been quite a while since I've seen your face around here. I know you, I think. One of Soma's loyal men. Magni, is it? Yeah. Good memory. Good to see you again. This is Ranvi, a dear friend and a sturdy fighter. Well met, Ranvi. Eivor seems to have a preference for befriending lovely women. You know, I noticed the same thing. I expected more people about Magni. Has something happened? Soma rounded up some warriors and took them west. She's hoping to open a new trade route with Ox and the Vodre. Only now, in times of trouble, I have discovered I am not the surrogate leader I should hope to be. What sort of trouble? Oh, a pack of surly bandits have been camped nearby. To the east of the water's edge. They attack all merchants who travel here by river or road, and word is spreading quickly. It's keeping traders at bay. That could cripple your town if it carries on too long. <laughs> it's crippled me already. The bastard stole my horse yesterday morning. So what will we you... We can take care of them, Magni. And if we don't find your horse, we will steal you a new one. Well, that would ease my mind. I have nothing to offer you for this deed, but the bandit surely would. Take from them what you like. Good. Consider the matter handled. Eivor, come. We have a camp to raid. The bandits are camped on the river, he said, east of the water's edge. You volunteered us for a fight, Ranvi. Is that your idea of a pleasant ride through the country? It must be. I surprised even myself. Away from your table for a day, and already you're lusting for blood. A feeling you must know well, no? I have always wanted to experience the world as you do, and now I will. Unless you have a more interesting day planned for us. We will help Magni and clear these bandits, but do not be rash when we find them. The Raven Clan needs your steady hand. Yes, indeed, my lord. I shall follow your order to the letter. If I did not know any better, I would say you're teasing me. Oh, certainly not, Eivor Wolf-kissed Iron-Fisted Drenger. I would never What's tease one with such mind commanding mind authority. There. The bandit camp. All right. Stay close and do as I do. Brood and look sternly at the horizon? By all means. I thought you wanted to do this in You seemed hot for a battle, so here we go. Don't forget! 
That's done. Now to deliver Magni his horse. Hmm. Feel stronger already. Have a look, Sunan. a thrill, Eivor. We are champions of Grand Bridge. Do you know of any other towns that need liberating? You don't think we have had enough drama for one day? We should return to the settlement. Or we could have a drink to celebrate our victory. At home, Tekla has all the mead and ale we could want. Eivor, our outing has hardly begun. Find us an alehouse and let us make ourselves at home. Let's return the horse, and if your thirst remains, we'll look around. Magni, we solved your bandit problem. Did you? Well done! And did you find my sweet mare? Your horse is outside waiting for you. Thank the gods she is safe. And thank you, Ava. And your friend Ranvi, wherever she is. She is here somewhere. Someone is thirsty. Are you determined to get drunk? I am determined to get you drunk. Come on. Scared I will outpace you. To be honest, a little. What are you playing at? A drinking contest. You versus me. Wolfkist versus Table Maiden. Ranvi, we can do better than Table Maiden. Mead Queen, then. All right, let us drink. Beautiful. you better. Eivor is a beast, but you have my fealty, Randy. 
Only focus. You should not have tried to outdrink me, Ranvi. It cannot be done. Hmm. Strange. I see your lips moving so rapidly, yet all I hear is... Thank you, Ranvi. So... Are you satisfied? My head is ringing like a bell. More than satisfied. Now come. We'll ride this off and take in the air as we head home. After just one more stop. Ugh, Ranvi... It's a sunken tower near a waterfall, close to home. We can stop for a look, and then you are free of me. It's near the highest point of a hill, just south of the settlement. Easy to spot, I'm sure. All right, one last stop then. I know it might not show, Eivor, but I am terribly excited. Oh, it shows. Leaving already? Well, I do hope to see you again. Randy, return any time. I might have to, Magni. Thank you. For everything. No, no! Thank you! Safe travels! I think you may have punctured poor Magni's heart back there. What can I say? Not the first, and it will not be the last. I name you Ranvi, slayer of bandits, breaker of hearts. I will sound it with pride. Suniva described this tower for me. A desolate yet peaceful place. I am eager to see it. After a full day of action, finally you wish to calm down. I've had my fill of adventure. Time for a little rest. I was wondering something. You and Soma, was there something more to your bond? You spoke of her with a particular shine in your eyes. We grew very close very quickly. Is that what you mean? No, I mean... Did something happen between you two? What sort of question is that? An innocent one. Innocent as a newborn babe. Nothing happened between us. That is my answer. Hmm. I find that... disappointing. If I were you, I might have tested the waters. Eivor, entangled by a hardy Jarlskona as she leads her army to victory and prosperity. A rather appealing match. <laughs> I'm going to pretend your last words were taken by the wind, Ranvi. If you must. That must be the tower. Take the bridge. <laughs> Just as beautiful as Suniva's stories tell. 
Can you imagine how it looked when it was first built, hundreds of winters ago? Sometimes when looking at a map, I imagine little people in their little armies, traversing the land. And now, staring at these ruins, I imagine people of old, how they lived, never knowing what would become of their monuments. You have a fertile imagination. I want a view from the top. Shall we? Lead on. Mind where you put your fingers. These stones are old and weathered. You climb well for one who falls maps. You jest, but I have raised the frames of longhouses and hammered the ribs of longships. My hands are calloused from hard work. Well, well. A stunning view. It reminds me of my early years in Norway. How I used to climb the hills beyond the wood. You have an adventurous heart. I hardly see it behind the table, but now I've watched you scale a tower in furs, soaking wet. I was rowdy in my youth. Hunting. Sailing. I was a wildling of the open air, before I became this staunch and stoic woman. Married off in service of peace between two clans. A noble and worthy role, but not one I had ever imagined for myself. You would have made a fine wandering warrior. A Jomsvikinger. Free to come and go as she pleased. I think so too. It may be we would have sailed together, over the open seas. Raiding, or traveling. Or faced each other on the field of battle. Without your marriage to Sigurd, to secure peace, our clans might still be at war. True. Very true. Thank you for today. Every bit of it has been a dream, and... and I'm not keen to wake. Then don't. We can stay here as long as you like. Yes. What was that? Oh, no, I am... I'm sorry. I sh shouldn't have. I got away from myself. No need to apologize. Sigurd is your brother, and I... I have put you in a very difficult position. The heart does not do politics like the head. It may be the meat, it may be the air, but there is no need to apologize. <laughs> I am sober enough. But the truth of it is... I have felt this way for some time now. I care for you, Eivor. That is... comforting to hear. I've long felt the same way. But I banished the thought that this would ever happen. Many times I wished to tell you. Wished to say what was in my heart and what I desired. But duty kept me from it. Say all you like. Today has meant so much. We rode, we fought, we drank, we laughed. You showed me your world. Not in words, but deeds. Deeds are more direct than words. Randy? Hmm. Must have returned to the settlement. My eyes soon in.
him. That blasted Winchell, will he ever shut his mouth up there on his rock? We kicked Winchell up for good reason. Naked all the time. Unacceptable. Forget about him. That blasted Winchell, will he ever shut his mouth up there on his rock? We kicked Winchell up for good reason. Naked all the time. Unacceptable. Forget about him. That blasted Winchell, will he ever shut his mouth up there on his rock? We kicked Winchell up for good reason. Naked all the time. Unacceptable. Forget about him. That blasted Winchell, will he ever shut his mouth up there on his rock? We kicked Winchell up for good reason. Naked all the time. Unacceptable. Forget about him. That blasted Winchell, will he ever shut his mouth up there on his rock? We kicked Winchell up for good reason. Naked all the time. Unacceptable. Forget about him. <sighs> that blasted Winchell, will he ever shut his mouth up there on his rock? We kicked Winchell up for good reason. Naked all the time. Unacceptable. Forget about him. That blasted Winchell, will he ever shut his mouth up there on his rock? We kicked Winchell up for good reason. Naked all the time. Unacceptable. Forget about him. That blasted Winchell, will he ever shut his mouth up there on his rock? We kicked Winchell up for good reason. Naked all the time. Unacceptable. <laughs> Forget about him. That blasted Winchell, will he ever shut his mouth up there on his rock? We kicked Winchell up for good reason. Naked. Hey, let's be going. No! Get the murdering heathen!
Let the wind tickle my skin forever. I made you what you are. My principles led to your great nudity. To all tyrants of garb, let it be known you are vile garment mongers. And you will know my name is Winchell the Robe Free. Why are you naked? Because my uncompromising lack of clothes brings me joy. Yet my very own sect of pious nudists tossed me aside. Nudists? Those who bear their skin for pleasure. Indeed, we, we bear our skin at all times, in the tradition of great Greeks and Romans. Yet some say I am too... enthusiastic. Nude in prayer, at mealtimes, at work, in the streets and alehouses, everywhere. For Jesus loves us best as we were born. But the group I founded has expelled me. Oh, if I could exact revenge, steal their clothes and render them nude forever, I would. That assembly of traitors act like all is well. well. One day, I will head down there and render them eternally nude, as God wanted. Jane joins the ranks of the liberated. Oh, that's the crate where we put our clothes. Feel free to store your... Just put your... Hey! Stop that! Put it down! Greetings, Dane. This is our private celebration of skin. We are open to all who strip. Would you join us? I met a man who claimed to have created this club. What happened to him? Oh, Winchell. Yes. He was a bit too, um, <clears throat> assertive for us. He was overly tempted by bare flesh, so we had to send him away. I would be honored to join your group. Where do I place my clothes so I can start dancing? Wonderful! A new member. Simply place your clothes in that crate hidden by the tent and partake in the liberation.
Now you're nude forever, as Winchell wanted. Now they will adhere to your principles. Yes! You have carried out my revenge. Wonderful. Now they must revel in their nudeness forever. If you like, I have a luminous text with my teachings. A breviary of why one must trust their body's exposed sinew. Enjoy. Be well, Winchell the chest free. Aid me, be my eyes.
do you see? Boy. My love. Ranvi, you left so suddenly. There is work to be done. There always is. I see. But do not think for a moment that I have forgotten you and our wonderful day. Nor would I wish you to. Good. Then we see eye to eye. And heart to heart. Yes, indeed. Until our next moment alone, we should return to our great work. England will not pacify itself on our behalf. No, indeed. Back to work, then. Come to me. I want to see the Alliance map. What of Oxenefordshire? Sigurd told me he had business there. Ah, yes. Sigurd is there now, in fact. He bids you go meet him as soon as you can. 
He has partnered with a rebellious thane called Giedrich, and hopes to install Giedrich as Elderman in exchange for an oath. There is an alehouse at the center of Buckingham. Sigurd will meet you there. I should join my brother then. Where is Buckingham? <laughs> Along the Great Owls River that divides Oxenefordshire, Sigurd will be pleased to see you. Come to me. Let's get out of here. No racing the sail here. Let's put in here. Can't raise the sail yet. Sing, my ravens. Sail! Catch the wind!
Have a song. Strike of the tune. Dark is the shadow. Throw. Shouldn't be seen. Better be hooded. Soldiers on alert. What's happened here? must be it. These soldiers are tightly wound. Thank you. 
thinking about him. Stuck in the stack. Yeah. Hey! Suffer! <laughs> Yourself. But focus, we have this. about this land, my friend. Right. 
All this religious nonsense of theirs does make them fearless in battle, though. Bloody infidel heathens. Asking the gods to change a run of three bad harvests. Ungodly savages. Notice how they just down someone mentioned. I'm looking for my brother, a large outspoken Norseman. Norse? Huh. Was he part of the fight here? Probably killed by Edwin's soldiers. Get gone while you can. These soldiers always leave a bleeding mess. Are you the alewife here? You are not welcome here. I've had enough trouble with Danes today. I'm not here to cause trouble. I'm looking for my brother, a large Norseman. It was him what caused the ruckus. Him and that other one were here, talking to Thane Giedrich. Then Lady Edwin's soldiers swept in. A fight broke out. Your brother and the tanned fella got away. The soldiers nabbed Giedrich, though. I was sorry to see that. He's well liked in these parts. Which way did my brother go? Hmm. What's it worth to you to find out? I'm asking a simple question. Look, Dane. You start a scene or a scuffle, and I'll scream for soldiers. You seem to respect this man, Giedrich. If he was talking to my brother, it's because he wants what's best for this Shire. Maybe you're a woman who also wants Oxenaford Shire to be free, and to decide its own fate. A woman who'll stand up for her village, who won't be crushed under the boot of oppression. I hope I am. Such a woman would help me find Giedrich's friends. You're right, you are. 
Your brother and his friend jumped through that window there and scampered off towards the river. It's a good bet they hid in one of them fish houses. Sigurd and Basson headed south. They wouldn't go far. I'll check along the river. Sunan, guide me. like a fish house. Good spot to hide. Wait! Stop! Alan, what's Alan, Eivor? We could have caught you to bloody giblets, Wolkist. Wise on nerve, brother. It's not like you. Half the soldiers of the Shire are hunting us. You must have noticed. Is that why you haven't come home? You're playing hide-and-fetch with merchant soldiers. Your brother's a busy man, Eivor. Weighed down by pressing duties. It's good to see you again, Basim. Even if you haven't kept my brother trained on the task at hand. It's not my place to lead your brother about like a bridled mare. Now there's an idea. Brother, we should be fortune alliances. Send this man back to his warren before he leads you astray. Eivor, gods above, I'm grateful you've joined us. We have made strides towards an alliance, in fact. A local thane called Gidritz has pledged an oath to me. I've heard of him. The alewife also mentioned the Lady Edwin, who commands the soldiers. Why not ally with her? Lady Edwin's husband was the Shire's elderman, until Gudrun's army ended his life. Now she's taking up her husband's fight, with a promise of aid from King Alfred of Wessex. Edwin vows revenge on the Danes, who stole her husband and her livelihood. From what we know, Alfred is a fearsome king. If Edwin can win his full support, this Shire is lost to Wessex. So to fight her, you've pledged your sword to a minor thane who likely commands a gang of farmers and fishermen. Have faith, Eivor. A few hundred Saxons armed with hayforks and billhooks can be terrified. Gods. All men and women, noble or peasant, have within them the seeds of something greater. This is true. Sometimes greater than the average mind can fathom. Well, Edwin has Keatrich in shackles now. All your plotting has turned to ash. Not if we act soon. She dragged her prisoners to the Longhouse. With you here, we can mount a surprise strike. If Giedrich is our best chance for an alliance, let's see it done.
Sigurd, has Basim talked you into something of little reward? Eivor, have you lost hope in my Warcraft? I heed Basim's wisdom, but he follows my lead, always. He has the look of one who trusts none but himself. Basim is secretive by nature, but he is wise and forthright, and he has opened my eyes to a magnificent truth. He has promised me a reward so unusual, so incredible, it will shatter your mind to shards. Brother, our bond has the iron heft of a war axe. Do not let Basim and his prophecies of good fortune sway you from our simple goal. Never. Our goal is fixed. We shall soon be the lords of Mercia, then all of England. But Basim has a deep insight. He's read wisdom in the lines of my face, and heard the litany of my forefathers, and... Well, there will be time enough for my saga later. Go, Sunan. Give me a hand with this! Sigurd, kill this sweaty fishwife! Stay your blades. This traitor Giedrich will face trial, as will all the treasonous thanes of this shire. You're the traitor, Edwin, calling on Alfred of Wessex begging for his army. Clap your mead hole, Giedrich, lapdog of the Danes. You'll sell us out to Wessex. And that poxy ass bastard, Alfred, we won't have it. You're not the Elderman here, Lady Edwin. Turn around and walk away, and we'll leave you be. You heathenish fork-tongued dame. Foul-smelling heap, I shit on you all. Lady, choose your next words with care. For you see before you the future master of all England, Sigurd, of the hungry Raven clan. Lay down your arms. Free my friend here, and kiss my lordly feet. You will not get a second chance. Sigurd, are you cracked? And you can kiss my rosy red ass, Wayface. I've done with this offal. I leave them to you. Flay them alive and tan their flesh for saddles. Ah! What have they done to you? What kind of mess did you get yourself into? Simon, I can still fight these bastards. <laughs> Stick 
Damn it to hell! The happy escaped! I was desperate to fight! You should have freed me! Giedrich, this is Eivor, my stone-armed sibling. Well met. That was your plan, Sigurd. To charm the lady with your vague hope of kingship. Prophecy, Eivor. Not hope. No time to squabble. Edwin's taken most of the Shire's thanes. She has her way. They'll be dead by supper. Tend your wounds, Giedrich. We'll free your friends. And what of the holy woman, Fulke? You promised us a meeting with her. I did, aye. But it's a fair mystery why you'd want to talk Where is with... she? Thane Holt will know. Fulke lives on his lands, but he'll be dead with the rest if you don't stop the trial. Tell us where, and we'll go now. Their lives depend on the speed of your tongue. Southwest of here, halfway to Oxenaforda, at the Leech Vila garrison. Bathim! Eivor! To horse! Off again, Eivor. You and I, with blades drawn and hearts ablaze. Who is this Fulke that Basim spoke of? An ally, Eivor. A most important ally. A holy woman who trades in prophecies and secret knowledge. That is not the sort of alliance we're looking for, Sigurd. No, it's even better. You cannot imagine what discoveries await. You're speaking strangely, brother. Because I'm alive, Eivor. My heart's alight with the fuel of battle fire. Like old times, eh? Yes, Sigurd. Like old times. Remember our hunts beyond the Northern Way? Our first big kill was a ten-point deer. We brought it together. The arrows from our bows like darts of ice. With sharp and shin bones for skinning the beast. You on the right, me on the left. We leapt and struck. We crashed to the ground like a felled tree. Then the bloody struggle. Damn animal bit my hand. Never knew a buck would bite so hard. But I pierced its throat, spilling its life wine into the drifts. That put an end to him. Such tales your siblings tell. It's just one of a thousand. It was the glorious dawn of our lives. You haven't yet explained who this Fulke woman is. When the time is right, I will. She is the fulcrum of a larger plan. Above conquering England? What larger plan could we need? Patience, Avery. Patience. Fine. Keep your dread secrets, brother. But if this alliance fails, you may take them to your grave. This fever will break once you know the whole truth. I promise. My blade is thirsty, friends. Shall we roll in like three barrels of fire? No. We must be careful. Do not let the executioner swing his axe.
Stretch your wings, Sunan. Show me. I must be careful now. They're about to execute the prisoners. Confession grants a toad death. Failure to confess earns a disgraceful death. Dane Brandt, I stand innocent. Do you confess to cravenly plotting to betray Lady Edwin? Right, <laughs> rebel! Execute the prisoners at once! The no, rescue us! We can help! Ah! Get behind! <laughs> uh, uh, <stop> <laughs> We must bring down Edwin once and for all. Out of here before they have my head. Gidrid sent me to find you. Let's go now. For the Shire! Is that your best shot?
all safely over there. We fought with our Weasley ultimate for years. Now his widow wants to lop off our heads. Bless you all. Thanks to you, I live to pay Lady Edwin back in blood. I am Thane Holt. Does Giedrich live? He's safe in Buckingham. Good, Thane. We are at your side in this fight, to keep this land in the hands of those who love Mercia, be they Saxon or Dane. God in heaven knows I'd sooner see a Dane married to my daughter than sell a man of Wessex one of my pigs. If Giedrich is behind you, then I am too. We're told you know of a holy woman, Fulke. Where is she now? Can we not fixate on this cipher, Fulke? Edwin is our focus. Fulke holds a secret that may turn the tide of this fight. Without her, I cannot achieve my full purpose here. The madwoman Fulke? You see, brother? Your mysterious Fulke has a mind in disarray. Mad or no, I want to speak with her. Understand this. Fulke is a heretic, a sower of poisoned knowledge, and an enemy of the Church. She claims to have seen or spoken with God himself. And for this, Lady Edwin had her imprisoned. I know not where. At a monastery, I suppose. We should make inquiries. Sigurd, do we not owe Giedrich some word of what has happened here? You can speak with him in my stead, but we must hurry. Fulke's life may be in danger. We risk losing all the gains we've made here for the sake of this woman. Trust me, Eivor. Fulke is of great importance. 
You'll soon understand. I hope I will. We have a camp to the east at Linforta, an old harbor on the Great Ouse. Meet us there. We Thanes will raise a feared and join with you to take down Edwin, whatever it takes. Bring this news to Giedrich, and tell him we'll be ready when he calls. Every man will be needed. Show me what lies ahead. to get on the other side.
up. Pagan ravagers are coming! Alarm! Take that coward up! Stop you! from the other side.
see you soon. Then. Cast about this landmark. soldiers here now. Giedrich has cleared them all out. friend. <laughs> 